Hi there, you're gorgeous. So it's great to see you again. It's me, Katsumi Sakamoto, health and wellness coach. For the past few weeks, we've been talking about weight loss and the factors that influence your success on your journey. There are four main factors we have to consider. Nutrition, exercise, sleep, and mindset. I cover the basics on nutrition on my book, Top Diets and What Really Works, that you can download for free through the link in the description or on my bio on Instagram. For the past two weeks, we spoke about sleeping and the importance it has on your weight loss journey, and I gave you some tips on how to improve the quality of your sleep. This week, we're gonna focus on exercise. When talking about exercising for weight loss, we usually think about three main types of training. Heat, moderate cardio, and strength training. My idea is not to compare one to the other and tell you which one's best, at least not, not for now. What I will do though, is give you some science-based facts about each one of them, so you can make an informed decision on which one suits you best. Today we're gonna to focus on HIIT. HIIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training. The name says it all. It consists of a burst of above 80% of your maximum effort for a period of time, followed by a period of rest, which is usually active rest. There are many different protocols regarding how much exercise you do, how much time you spend resting, so I'm not gonna get into it now. What I will do is talk to you about what all of these protocols have in common, which are the results. HIIT is known to improve your cardiovascular health, blood pressure, insulin sensitivity, cholesterol profile, fat, and body weight. So it is a great tool when talking about losing weight. But for every light, there is a shadow. So there are a few points of concern that we have to mention. Because of the high intensity of the exercise, the risk of injury increases quite a lot. It also imposes a higher cardiovascular stress. And the greater the intensity, the greater the discomfort. So we do have to worry about adherence to this type of programs when talking to clients. Basically, this is how HIIT works. So it can be a great tool on your journey for weight loss, especially if you're a busy person, because most sessions are much shorter in duration. We're talking here about 20, 30 minutes at most. So for you that is really busy, can be the perfect tool. So that's it for today. I hope this information actually brings you something new and useful. And remember, you are much more amazing than you think. I'll see you soon.